Hello, I'm Sandra Pollock from Open Mind Coaching and I am coming to you to share Monday's tip for the week. Thank you so much for joining me. This is actually my third attempt today because uh, all of my systems have not been working so I hope that this one manages to get through to you. Uh, every Monday I meet you here to share some thought that I have had um, Something may have, um, you know, it may have been something that I was thinking about or something that spurred it. So today I am looking at the topic, know what's important to you. And I think that this is important because if we're not sure or clear about what's important to us, things happening around us could take us off our path. It could really be just really something that that is a distraction. So that's what I'm talking about today. I was sharing or talking to a friend of mine recently who was a little bit annoyed with somebody else because of the way this person was um, doing their business or the things that they were doing in order to, to increase their business. And one of the things that this individual was doing was actually contacting someone else's, a friend's, clients to offer them a similar service. So the individual I was speaking to was saying, you know, this is really unethical behavior. So what do we do when someone does something that we consider unfair, unjust or unethical? What do we actually do? That's a really difficult question. But the first thing, as I was thinking about that, the first thing that came to my mind was know what's important to you. When you know what's important to you and you focus on that, other people's behaviors or actions don't tend to um, distract you or take you off your path as easily as if you're not clear about what you want out of life. For example, when I was thinking about my business, what are the important things about running my business that I like to hold on to? I'll share some of them um, with you. The, main, the four main things for me, one is that I must have peace of mind. If I'm doing something it doesn't bring me peace of mind, or if I'm working with someone and I don't have peace about it, then I'll stop doing that. I'll change it. I'll get someone else that's better suited to them to work with them because peace of mind is hugely important to me. Dealing with people respectfully is the second thing. We all make mistakes. We all, you know, do things that we don't realize upset other people. So the point is that when we do, you know, correct that. But for me, in terms of my planning and my conscious um, awareness, how I deal with other people in a respectful way is hugely important to me. And that knocks on to point number three, which is to build lasting relationships. Most, uh, most people go into a career or, or a, a type of business or product development or service delivery because they think, wow, I'm going to make a lot of money. And you may well do. We're all in business. We all choose a career because we believe that this will help us um, you know, have a lifestyle that we would be happy with and to maintain that lifestyle or to make lots of money. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that at all. Money itself is not wrong. It's what we do with it or our attitude towards it. That's a, another discussion. Anyhow, so what's important to me is yes, to make money, but to build good lasting relationships. That's what's important. And if you're in business and if you are looking at your career, you know, it's, it's, a lot of the time, it's about your relationships with, with others and who you know and how you get on with those people. Because much of my business comes from word of mouth because people who are happy with working with me pass me on to or tell other people about me and about the service I provide. So if you don't have a good relationship, you're not going to um, earn many from your um, the way you do things and the way you build your relationship. So that's number three. Number four for me is giving clients value for money and value for the time. So it's value for money and time. And the important thing there is when we provide a service, we are providing or we should be providing a good solution to help someone solve a problem that they may have. So you need to do that in a way that is comfortable with you. So if you're just out there desperately trying to um, do things that just help you to earn money, that does sp smack of desperation and people can smell that and sense that a mile off. So when other people are doing things that you think is unethical, they won't f fool many people for too long. That will come back to them. 
I believe very strongly that what you put out there comes back to you. So concentrate on what you're putting out there. Concentrate on what's important to you. Know what's important to you. If you've never sat down and really delved below the earning money level to find out what's really important to you, then I'd encourage you to do just that. If you've forgotten or if you've not reviewed it recently, you've not gone back to connect to what's important to you, then I would encourage you to do that. Because when you know that, you're not buffeted backwards and forwards by what other people decide to do or how other people decide to run their business or their career. I always say focus on developing you and the rest will take care of itself. So what is important to you in your life and in your business? And are you on track with behaving in, in a way that is true to that? Remember, what you put out there comes back. So what other people put out there, if it's unethical, if it's unjust, if it's not right, if it's not true, then what they're doing is storing up those sorts of issues and problems that will come back to them unless they change their ways. So I'm not saying condone um, bad behavior or unjust things. Yes, speak out about those things. But focus on what is important to you, because as you do those things, you will be storing up nothing but good and, and just and, and, you know, blessings and, and, and the best of everything to come back to you. But you have to sow it first and you sow it by keeping focused on it. What you focus on expands. What you focus on, you get more of. So know what's good for you and focus on that as you go through this week. Keep that in mind and don't let the behaviours of other people um, distract you from your path or what you are doing that you know to be the right thing to do. So I hope that's been helpful and useful, useful to you. And as you go through that this week, I hope that you'll come back and share with me um, if this has been of value. And if it has, please share it on to other people. Because my objective is really just to, to help everybody, um, you know, find ways that will help them to create the best life for them. Which, you know, we already have all the skills and the tools inside. The journey of life is really... Um, uncovering all of those things and practicing how to do them well. I've got a few people joining me today, so I just want to say a quick thank you and hello. Hi, Anne. Thanks for joining me. Great to have you. Hi, Mike. Great to have you too. Um, Amelia, thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it when you all take the time. Mills, thank you for joining me. And um, Parveen. Parveen said thanks again, Sandra. I, it is my, it's my pleasure to be able to share some of these thoughts and it, it's really, you know, um, makes me excited and happy when uh, I add value to your day and to your life. So as you start your week, reconnect with what's important to you and focus on delivering that and bring peace and happiness not only to your life but everybody else as well. Have a wonderful week. I'm going to sign off now wishing you light, love and every good thing to you and your family. Have a wonderful week and I will catch you again on Friday when I share my Stop and Be Grateful um, roundup for the week. Have a wonderful week and uh, I'll catch you on Friday. Take care. Bye-bye for now.